Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Emmy here. It's not raining today, so I figured I would take you on a garden tour and just show you around what's going on in the garden since I haven't done that for a while. I also want to plant some more seeds today and some of the things in the garden didn't grow right. Some of them did, but some of them I'm just gonna swap out for some new seeds that I have here. And I'm just gonna get the last grow bag set up. My husband finally had a chance to get rid of the hay bales that were taking up the space where I wanted the last grow bag. So I'm gonna go out there and set it up and put the soil in and just show you around the garden. So let's go. against the um, concrete over here. It was up here. I don't know if like a squirrel knocked it or if it was the wind or what. But, oh well, it was cool while it lasted. So Rainy took the hay bales away for me and I really just have to move this, figure out where it's gonna go and then put the other grow bag like this one over here. And that's one of the things I'm doing. I harvested the lettuce already and I harvested it in such a way that where it would come back. This one's not doing so good actually. I'm gonna just pull that out of there. But these two seem to be doing well. So I should be able to harvest more lettuce off of those ones. This here is butter crunch lettuce and I think I just have to pull a couple plants off of here. I think I planted too many seeds, or I could eat it as microgreens. That's the butter crunch lettuce. There's still lettuce growing here, and there's still some kale in here. Um, but again, I think I just need to either transplant some of them or um, pick some of them out of there. The same with these ones. If you don't remember, I had cauliflower in here. And Mr. Squirrel ate all of my cauliflower except for this one. And it actually has started blooming there in the middle. And it's really getting eaten up pretty bad. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try to save it or what. We'll see. Um, I might try to get some diatomaceous earth and put it on there. Um, but I don't wanna hurt Mr. Squirrel if he's gonna eat it again. So we will see about that. I've already harvested some of my spinach and I actually should harvest some of this today because it looks like it's bolting a little bit. Um, and I don't want to have bitter, bitter spinach. So I already harvested that one or most of it. And there's a couple plants that I left because they're just now growing. So my turnips are doing really well. I've actually harvested some of the turnip greens from this for some of our salads. I am unsure what kind of flower this is growing, um, but I think it's marigolds. I believe that it's a marigold plant. So I think I have marigolds growing in here. And then here, again, Mr. Squirrel got my broccoli. <laughs> so I just pulled them up. They were pretty rough. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna plant beans and pumpkins. And I'm also gonna be planting beans and pumpkins in this one over here once I get it set up. Underneath here, I have some peppers growing. I see a couple are already sprouting. And yeah, 
So I see a few of them are already sprouting in there. As you can see, my gladiolas are doing well. And the blue onion is doing well. I've actually harvested some of it. And over there is where my tulips are. Got some clover growing in there. Let's get him out of there. But they have come and gone, so over there. I'm not sure if those are my Kerberos or the lilies that I have planted, but I accidentally dug up some bulbs from a couple of my pots and I replanted them in that one and we will see how those grow. They're, do they're doing pretty good, so we'll see. And I got my rosemary up there. I still haven't planted anything in that top one, but I have some rosemary planted there. These are some more gladiolas. I had flowers planted in here, but they haven't done anything yet, so we'll see about that. And then over here, I have some beans planted. And I might actually take um, a few of these out of here so that they have room to grow and transplant them to um, one of my grow bags. So those are Kentucky Wonder Beans. They look like they're doing pretty awesome. So we'll see how those do. And I'm actually going to replace this today with one of the black ones. Um, just because I haven't gotten a new cocoa liner for it. And I have a couple of the black ones from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put one there and put some more beans. Um, I think I'm going to put beans in there. So yeah. This is all the rainwater from the past week. All the storms that we got in Missouri. It was crazy. The winds were crazy and it was just pouring rain. And this is actually not all the rain that we've got in the past few weeks because I've emptied these a couple times. So just to give you an idea of how wet it's been here. Alright, so we have my beets growing there. They're looking pretty good. I got beets growing over here and they're looking pretty good. And then I planted some watermelon in here and I see a few popping up. So we got one there and we've got a couple here. Now I was told that you're supposed to plant a couple of them at once, like two seeds at once and then you can thin them out as they grow a little bit bigger so I, that's what I did but it looks like there's two grown here and there's two grown here and then there's one there in the middle and I believe I put two more put them in two more spots over on that side so we will see how that goes my poor poor cabbage so my cabbage isn't doing very well except for with the exception of probably that one there is doing pretty good. It looks pretty resistant to everything. But these two are getting eaten up. This one's getting eaten up. And I really think that I'm just going to pull these out. Because I think they're pulling the nutrients from the other ones. So... bit longer guys and see how it goes. <laughs> this is my first time growing a bunch of cabbage type plants and to be honest they're so cheap at the store I might just try to grow other stuff from now on because it's really hard to grow cabbage. <laughs> now these are supposed to be beets just so you can see those are the, the red beets that I planted these are the red and gold ones, and they have not done very well. So I think next year I'm just going to go with those beets. I think these are, those are wonder beets. So this, I believe, is also marigolds, but we will see. Over here, we have Malik's, which are doing pretty good. They're getting pretty big. There's a few of them here that are really large. So, I might actually harvest some for tonight's soup. 
I've got strawberries here and what I wanted to do um, this weekend was see if I could find one more thing of strawberries. I might have a hard time finding them but I think they have some at my where my husband works so I'm gonna want to fill in the rest of these. And I think one more pot of strawberries would do the trick. There's some hiding on that side too. And then I've got some flowers growing there. I've got the chives are still doing good. I've actually harvested a little bit of it already. And now you can see the crazy onion plants. <laughs> Um, they've gotten really big. I actually harvest them, harvested some and used the actual onions uh, part to um, saute some onion. So they're pretty good. Um, and I've been using the tops of this green onion. They are all bent over because of the wind and rain from the past week. They were actually pretty tall and were standing up straight a little while ago. So. And it looks like a weed made its way in here. Let's just get rid of that guy. All right, y'all. Now I got to set up this other grow bag, and I'm going to plant some beans and some squash. And when I'm done, I will show you what it looks like. All right, so let me show y'all what I got done today. So I put those soil bags in my last 100-gallon grow bag. And what I've planted in here are beans and some kakai pumpkin and then in this one I took up the broccoli and um, so what I've done now is I put royal burgundy beans and some sugar pumpkin some small sugar pumpkin and over here I had the kale so what I did was I transplanted my kale into different pots um, into different grow bags and pots and then I put a zucchini plant in this grow bag. So hopefully my zucchini will grow. And then I put my kale in these three here that were empty. I put some soil in this one and then put one in there. And then I plant, trans, transplanted the other kale into these two grow bags where there were little kales. Um, which I could have let the other ones grow, but these ones are still doing pretty good. I'm not ready to give up on them. Um, and I just left the one that was doing most well in here, there. So that's also kale. So I just have different kinds of kale going now. I still have my lettuce. And then I'm going to harvest some of that spinach still tonight for tonight's soup. And what... Another thing that I did was I took the rain buckets and I emptied them into one of our Primo bottles since we have a bunch of them and then just put something on top so that nothing gets in there. Um, and I don't have enough for a rain barrel yet. I'm hoping to get one soon, but for now that is going to have to do. And what I did here is I thinned out the cabbage plants and left the three that were doing most well and hoping, I'm hoping that they will grow. Um, I planted some dill here today around the edge and I might plant some dill here too. Um, it's supposed to help cabbage grow and it's supposed to help beans grow so when my cabbage is done I think I'm going to leave the dill and put some more beans in here. We love eating beans and I have several varieties that I can plant so I think that's what I'm going to do over here. And the cats are enjoying themselves today because it's been raining so they haven't had a chance to come outside. I'm just letting them get some fresh air. Baron, you better not even think about it, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah. But that's what I got done today. And the garden is looking good. I don't know what this is here, but I'm going to leave it for now because it's adding a little bit of greenery to my garden. And, of course, there's some weeding that needs to be done. that um, pallet over there. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with it yet, but for now, it's going to stay over there. So, 
I harvested a couple of those leeks to put in the soup tonight. They're not the biggest. Leeks can actually get really, really large. Um, but I like using them when they're kind of small. I have so many of them that I might as well use them. So I harvested two of the biggest ones I could find and I'm gonna chop these up and put it in our soup. I hope y'all enjoyed this little garden update. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have a very blessed day. I love y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.